wow what a day like yeah what a day guys so today has definitely been a very busy crazy day it's been a day where apple has been releasing software after software updates and some of the software updates that we have are actually for devices that are as old as eight years and as old as seven years ago so these are some of the phones that got software updates today and unlike the iphone 15 that i use on the regular these phones you know they sit in the closet or in the cupboard i don't use them on a daily but apple keeps taking me back to this iphone 6s and the iphone se first gen you can see on both devices if we were to go into settings uh, and then go to where it says uh, software update right there ios 15.8 on the iphone 6s and on the se first gen if we go into general and go to software update you can see we also have ios 15.8 and exactly here you can see that the update size is almost very identical in fact on the iphone 6s the update size is about 400 megabyte bigger than that on the iphone se first gen but these updates are very much identical now these are available for different devices and since it's an old update or it's a new update for all devices ios 15.8 is available on the iphone 6s or the iphone 6s plus if you have the iphone 7 it's available on the 7 7 plus and like i showed you here it's available on the old first gen iphone se as well as the ipod 7th gen now this is the update you see the update size right there so i'm going to go ahead and update my two devices and then we'll compare them side by side and see whether there is any notable software changes or improvements with ios 15.8 I wanna show you some other updates that Apple released today. So here, if we go to the Apple developer page or Apple operating system page, you can see iOS 17.1 has been released today. I did a video on this. We have iPadOS 17.1, MacOS 14.1. We also have watchOS 10.1, tvOS 17.1. And for older iPhones, you can see we have uh, iOS 16.7.2. This is an update for those iPhones that don't support iOS 17 so like the iPhone 8 and the iPhone X this is an update for you and of course down the road you can see the iPad OS 16.7.2 also for all the iPad models and iOS 15.8 as well as iPad OS 15.8 there's a lot of updates and most of these updates i do cover them here on the channel at half man half tech so definitely do subscribe so that you stay up to date with the various updates that are here okay so boom we are good and ready to go both of these devices are up to date now and uh, i noticed this notification here i'll just clear it something i have to mention if you have an iphone 6s and you have an iphone se first gen the se is going to be slower when it comes to preparing the update and actually installing the update and restarting so the 6s was slightly faster but there is a place where I noticed that the iPhone SE beats the 6s so stay tuned for that so now if we go into settings and then go to general and go to software update we are up to date on both these devices so we we'll do the same on the SE here and then go to software update boom we are both on iOS 15.8 just to make it apple to apple and to make it similar i'll just go into dark mode on this phone too and now if we go to the about we can see the new software changes that are here with this update so if we go to about you can see the build number that i have on both these devices so on the iphone se first gen it's 19h 370 and on the iphone 6s 19h370 on the build number that has the software update this is always the same irregardless of the device that you are updating but what tends to be different is the modem firmware version and you can see the modem firmware version that i have here on the iphone 6s 
it's 9.61.00 and on the iphone se first gen you can see it right there it's 11.61.01 so coming from the previous ios 7 uh, ios 15.7.9 this doesn't seem to be a modem firmware update in fact the modem firmware update that i see here on the iphone se first gen is the same that was there before so no change with that and same goes for the iphone 6s so if you're having issues with things such as wi-fi cellular or just airdrop or general wireless connectivity those issues will remain more or less the same. Now, the reason why Apple released this update at this point in time, as the update page mentioned, this is an update that's here to provide stability and it provides important, you notice what it says, important bug fixes and security update and is recommended for all users. So you can see what Apple is actually updating and patching up when it comes to different software updates. And for iOS 15.8 right there, you can see the different devices, additional different devices, that is the iPads too, that I didn't mention at the start of this video in case you're curious. So right here you can see, and then if we go there just to see some of the changes here, you can see the reported CVEs or common vulnerabilities and exposures and here there's only one that's mentioned as of today and that it has to do with kernel kernel tends to be the core operating system of the device and you say you notice that uh, an app may be able to execute up to record with kernel privileges apple is aware of a report that this issue was exploited against versions of ios released before 15.7 so this is interesting because I think since it's before 15.7, that would mean like 15.6 and older. If you have a phone that's on iOS 15.7 and older, then you might be at risk of this bug or this issue. But after you update to 15.7, Point something or 15.8 that we have today then this issue shouldn't really affect you and you can see how the description says an integer overflow was addressed with improved input validation so you can see it has to do with the core OS or the kernel and it's good to see that you know after all these years for the iPhone 6s it's been over uh, eight years since this was released in September 2015 for the iPhone SE it's been over I believe seven years this was in March 2016 so Apple is still updating these phones and you can see just making them more stable and safer for people to be able to use and a cool thing that I noticed here I did do Geekbench scores and uh, I'll open up Geekbench on both these devices so that you can see so after updating, these are the results. So for CPU on uh, Geekbench 6, on the iPhone 6S, I got a score of 603, but notice the score on the iPhone SE first gen. I got a score of 645, which is quite substantial. In fact, it beats it by a slight margin, which is impressive of the iPhone SE first gen. And then when it comes to multi-core, you can see for the iPhone 6S, I got a score of 984, but for the iPhone SE first gen, I got a score of 1069. This is impressive of this little guy. If you were to ask me which device to buy between these two, I really wouldn't recommend you buy an iPhone SE first gen or an iPhone 6S because these devices are basically at the end of life. I can almost guarantee you that by the end of this year, there's, there's a high chance that Apple won't be updating iOS 15 and beyond. So if you are going to be buying an old phone like this then it's maybe one to keep in your closet or for a collection but not one that i would advise you buy for like use on a daily basis since once the software is no longer being updated with security and stability patches then when it's vulnerable or there is cves then 
they don't get patched and you might expose yourself to some of these risks so that's about it for me when it comes to ios 15.8 let me know what you think about this update and uh yeah i like this this iphone the iphone se the shape is pretty amazing you know it has the shape of that iphone 5s and the 5 the legendary iphone and um in in terms of the body if you if i had to choose between these two phones i would definitely go for this one it has a more comfortable feel and i like this shape overly and it just looks more classic if you were to ask me so that's about it for me guys if you like this video do leave a like and subscribe and remember i'm going to be covering watch always mac always and maybe TV always pretty soon. So hit subscribe so that you stay up to date with most of the changes that I hear within these updates. Peace. And I'm flexing, I'm lady, cause life is a blessing. I'm currently counting my blessing. Ascending for heavens, I'm headed away from the universe. I'm coming back, not as human things. Came to the touch, I'm a sinner, but not a beginner. Though every day is a beginning. I'm critically breathing, I'm dusty, I'm kicking my inches. You nasty, I spit on your Misery home, you. Misery home, you. I never liked you, and you never liked me. Stay warm. But nothing contagious is my anger. Riding around.